So after the first three matches, Korea leads Thailand by two matches to one. Next up is a women's singles. And of course, if Sung Jae Hyung, representing Korea, were to win this, the semi-final tie would be over. It is a must-win situation for Arachanok Intanon of Thailand. There, the Korean bench. Well, if ever we had an intriguing contest, this is it. Arachanok Intanon, the 18-year-old, just overtaken this lady in the world ranking. Sun Ji Hyun was number five. She's now gone down to number six because the youngster from Thailand has moved up to number five. Now, of course, recently won her first Super Series title in Delhi, in India. Sun Ji Hyun won the first Super Series event of 2013, unseeded. She won her home events in Seoul in South Korea, beating the 2012 winner, Wang Shoshian, in the final. So Kelly Hall, on um, par for this one. And Yana Horong, Indonesia, the service judge. So Sung Ji Hyun. 21 years of age. Oh my goodness me, all three matches she's been involved in. In the cup final last year in Wuhan. In the final, lost out to the current world champion Wang Yi Han. She was again and 2016 up in the second game, but failed to convert her win-loss record for the year. A couple of semi-finals as well as winning that Korean Super Series event I was talking about. And she's played two matches so far. Been selected for all three matches, but of course in the quarter-final on Thursday against Germany, Korea were three love up after the first three and therefore she wasn't required to play her match. So the 18-year-old Arachanuk Intanon, as you can see, Number five in the world ranking. What a super record this year. Three finals from her last four tournaments. That 15 and four. Won the Indian Super Series, as I say, but many will remember the All England final. Of course, she lost out to Tina Baun of Denmark. The Dane winning her third All England title in her last ever individual international competition. Well, as you can see, this is the eighth meeting between these two players. The last time they met was in the first round of the Indonesian Super Series last year. Two straight games okay, it was ready. on that occasion. And of course, with Sung Ji Hyung having won five of the previous seven, one would assume that she has the psychological advantage. I'm not convinced by it. As we look at our court officials, I think that Rachanok Intanon's form in recent tournaments, those three finals from the last four tournaments, maybe gives her the bit of an edge. I agree with you. I I think uh, Rachanok is um, is a better player at the moment, and and I also think her very young age, taking into account, is you know, a year ago she was only 17. And two years ago, she was only 16. And, and to break in onto the international scene, being so young, takes a lot. And I think uh, for every month passing by, she's just getting better and better. Yeah, she is an extraordinary athlete. Her racket skills are just phenomenal. And as you say, for one so young, of course, she was three times world junior champion in 2009, 10 and 11. She mm. didn't play in the World Junior Championships last year. She could still play the World Junior Championships this year, but I doubt that she will. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, five years. on my right, <laughs> Thailand, represented by Rachinok Interon. Yeah, she was only 14 when she won her first World Junior title. Yeah, that was in Mexico. On my left, Korea. Represented by oh, the first one, 2009 in Malaysia. 
I said in Malaysia she won it in Malaysia. Yeah, Thailand. and then in Mexico. Then in Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Level. Okay. I, was there, I was there on both occasions. Yeah. So this is crucial for the 18 year old Rachanuk Intanon. Became the youngest ever winner of a Super Series title when she won in Delhi last month, beating Julia Shank in the final. One love. But of course, she wasn't selected when Thailand played against Korea last Tuesday. Jindapon played and lost out to Sung Ji Hyung. Service over, one all. typical of her style of play. Two, one. Now, Morton, I mean, we've been singing her praises. We've talked mm. already a little bit about her results. But what is it that makes her so special? Instantly. Obviously, she covers the court well. She's, she's quick. But I, I think it's her technical skills. She's able to play good shots from very difficult angles and positions as well. And then she's got a, a tremendous safety into what she's doing. She, she can really keep it in at all angles and very difficult shots. And, and that I think that's her ability to, to do that that really keeps her up there and, and do what's, uh, you know, keep her up on, on that ranking. I think she's, she's playing such a nice, safe game. Well placed. That's yeah. good play. Three, Sanjay two. It's only, only natural that you're going to a backhand side to cover and then in on the right hand side of your body. Very well played. Yeah, from a cute angle. Slicing across the feathers, trying Three to bring it down so steeply. And well, I personally think these two players are the future of World Badminton. I think they're two players that oh. are already, but will even mm. more so in future, Six. challenge Over. the dominance of China. Four. Of China. Yeah. Three. And for the game, that would be very nice. Yeah. It's needed. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I mean that as absolutely no disrespect to China because I admire their players. Well, they have so many. It's Tremendous players. Over. Unbelievable. Wonderful Four. players. But for the promotion of the game, to have more countries challenging for these major competitions like this Sudaman Cup, I think is a very good thing. It is. Thanks for elaborating on it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so sharp. But just to drive five home my point four. of what I, tri I was trying to say before, if, if you notice this 5 4 for Rajana, she hasn't played one out on the baseline, mm. despite she's playing on the fast end. It shows the touch she's got to her shots. She knows exactly how much to give it to keep it in. Yeah, and that's usually something that takes years and years and years to develop and understand. And I think both these players have matured considerably in the last 12 to 18 months. And by that, I mean as far as their tactical awareness is concerned and their belief and their understanding of the game. Yeah, that's nicely done. And look again, it's not going out. She knows exactly how much Service to give over. it. Six, five. Yeah, it's 
twisted, isn't it? Now we talked a lot about the Thailand player, this lady, Sung Ji Hyung. She too, at the tender age of just 21, has had some extraordinary results, beaten Wang Yihan, Wang Sin, Zhang Yang Jiao, Wang Shuxian, and Tina Bell as well. But all the top Chinese mm. players she's had victories over. All apart from the current Olympic champion, of course, Li Xiu Wei. Service over. Six all. Done it. Mm. It's good play by both Seven. of them, but I think the Six. Korean really play well here, adding on a lot of pressure. Had many sort of half chances and, and really added the pressure on. Song is, is doing really well recovering them. I, I think she's playing very well at the moment. Rajanath is standing all the way up at the net, making these disguised shots, and she's still getting them back and into position to kill it here. Really well played. I would be happy if I was her. Standing her ground as well. Simply just running them up. Oh. 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 Brilliant. Well, we thought this might be a good one. Oh no, we're not even halfway eight. through the opening game. But I'm already enthralled by it. the back line. Service over. Nine. Eight. Mm. The idea was really good. Service over. Twisting and turning uh, Ratchin off in that shot. All. Fortunately for, for Song, he was going in the net, but I think it was a very good idea. Yeah, look at that. It could have been a winner. Mm. 
seven, it's over. Angles at the Ten, time. nine. They are. Well, that's also what makes them good. They do it. They're much more adventurous than uh, most of the players. to take this one late in her forehand corner opened up the court yeah, yeah it was wide it was really good play from both sides it's a delight to watch Badminton of the 11, very highest 10, quality. Oh, that's great. Wonderful to watch. Well, I've been excited for some time about the development of women's singles in world terms and how many exciting players there are now on the world stage. These two, of course, but we've got a couple from the other couple from Taipei, whole group from Japan. And I think actually from Taiwan was five. Yeah, they're young. Not more Twenty more seconds. Yeah. Twenty yeah. seconds. Very, very exciting times for this discipline, women's singles. Thank you, coach. Alan. Yeah, which for a long, long, long time has looked like uh, all China. Yeah. Jae-hyung, coming from a badminton pedigree background, both her parents very 11, successful 10. international players, Play. Kim Young-ya and Sung Hancock. I will be very proud of her performance so far today. Oh, I wouldn't be so proud of that. Service so. over. <laughs> yeah. 11 all. This is always the case, isn't it? Sometimes I wonder with the mid-game interval whether players get their heads so full of advice from what their coaches are saying to them, they actually just lose their rhythm and their focus on, on what they've been doing. Sometimes I, I totally agree with you. I think you should, on many occasions, say as little as possible in terms of advice, change, just do that. You know. Just Service let them over. play the game and give them 12, some encouragement and maybe 11. one maximum two pointers and that's it. Mm. Yeah, Thank you. You, are, you know, the, the rallies before the mid-game interval were absolutely superb. It was some of the best badminton mm. I've, I've ever watched. And, you know, I know it's only the first two rallies, but the first well, two rallies since the interval have been, been poor. One service error and another very short rally ending in an error. Get that back. Oh, and again. Oh, a little smile from Arachanuk. Yeah, she was in trouble all the way. She chose uh. the right side. And now you've got to run. Good play by the Korean again. I, I 14, like the fact that she was 11. not going cross court in that one. That lift, but she was actually keeping it down the line and opening up her grip. That was nice to see.
Rangers wanting the court mopped. Moore was so delightfully polite, this Thank young lady. You. Moore was thanks. Play. The court uh, attendant and the court officials in her traditional way from her native country. A little oh. That was service again, over. Was the right idea. 15 is 12. Have you spoken to Ratchanook at all? No, uh, honestly, I've never. Yeah, she's quite shy. And she's a lovely young lady. now with the attempted smash down the line. The line there. 12. Yep. Song, song. Obviously the scores is telling it 16-12 but I, I must say I think the Korean is, is playing the better game at the moment. She's very solid in what she's doing. My concern on her behalf is can she do the same when she gets onto the far side when they, they change. Um, I, I'm still impressed by Ratchanok not having played one out on the baseline. Mm. <laughs> That's well anticipated by Sun. She knew 13, it, she's seen it, 16. she went for it, but she missed it. It was good ah. anticipation. coming too often. That's nice. Oh, good backhand. That's good play by the Korean. The first backhand 17, got 13. Ratchanov off the hook, so to speak, but then the next punch came. It's coming here. That's really good. So many players would have opted for the smash, the slice, whatever, downwards. And here she's playing two or three times the same spot. Very well played. Definitely not over yet. Oh, this time she controlled the round the head smash straight down the line. Got forward quickly, knew the reply would be a straight block. And the deficit reduced to just two points.
17. That just one point. trying to get the court wiped but the umpire wouldn't allow it and it was a good decision by the umpire if anything one have to say that song is very often trying to to take her very good time between rallies service over 18 16. Several times now that the shuttle passed Harachana deep into her backhand corner. And that good play has now brought us three game point opportunities. Yeah, game. only needed the one. Opening game First to game Korea. Won by Korea 21 17. 21-17 confirms the umpire. Well, we saw some excellent rallies in that opening game. Well, this is far from over yet, but certainly Korea in the driving seat. 2-1 up in the overall tie. <laughs> they up in the winning singles. Very impressive in game number one, Sung Ji Hyung. But a question mark in your mind, Morton, now that she's going to have to play from Level. this end of the court, and Level. therefore the shuttle will fly a little faster going towards her opponent. There's more mm. risk of errors on the clears. Yes. I, I do have my concerns, but I obviously hope for Korea that uh, she can control it.
Service over. One love. Spring, thrilling games here. <laughs> yes, that's true. Because they're both absolutely delightful to watch. From the start of this second game, one all. Rachanok Intanon from that far side. I think that's the first high serve she's mm. she played a high serve in she the other game. She did. Yeah. Uh, she had a few, and again I was thinking that's pretty cool, serving high serve, playing with the drift, but she served them very steady. Good length. She's got a very nice touch. Service over. Two. Yeah, he was bound to come again. Oh, that's nice. That's a new variation Three, here one. from Ratchanok playing that slow drop shot from the round ahead. Very short. Mm, most drop shots would land near that front service line. It was about halfway between the net and the service line, just shows how accurate it was. It's interesting to see that um, Song Chi Hyun is um, directing a lot of her smashes to the body. She's not opening up the court here once again, attack that one and the next one again, body, body, body. And in the first set, we saw it on a number of occasions as well. Yeah, obviously fearful of the creativity of Rachanok. Yeah, she opening up the angle. Yeah. Yep. I see right. again, I see again. Even though it was a sitter, it was a bad shot from Rachanok. Thank you, Thailand. She went for the middle. Yeah, we were seeing that and a lot in the men's singles the mm. other day, weren't we, with Denmark against Japan. Mm. The umpire is trying to hurry on the um, the Korean player, which I think is only fair. She's taking her good time. close I have to say yeah yeah oh, what did you think Norman? I thought that clipped the line yeah it's very close very close it's hard to Some say yeah and there is no doubt that the umpire Thank cannot you. call it no. and I have to say the line judges this week been uh, in general terms absolutely superb. They have very, but very few errors. I would say though they have also been tested. We have seen lots and lots of calls where it's been close. Five, yeah. Four.
by Whisker. Service oh. over. Five all. Takes courage to leave that one. Yeah. Yeah, good call. There it is again. Mm. Six, five. It's coming every time. Seven, five. Well, I don't know what you, you, you call it in English, but when Rajanak is returning that serve, it, it kind of the shuffle jumps a little bit and it stops sort of halfway in the air. It happened two or three times now. It's, it's obviously how she hits it on that forehand. Let's see if it comes again or not. I can tell you, so seven, this seven is what I mean. I don't know what you call it. Six, <laughs> seven. Mm, a little hand gesture once again. Say thank you for the new shuttle. I think it's very clever by Sun Si Hyun. She very often starts with that slice cross court on the return of serve, just to set the rally going again. Not to damage herself in any way. It's a safe shot she can play it every single time. It's not a winner, but it will set off the rally for her. So th in, a, in a way, it's, it's the second serve in the rally for her. a little nod from Rachanuk and she's understood the instruction. She was there so early. Eight, nine. And it's over. It's over. It's a fantastic shot. Did that go over? It's over. Look at that. Goodness me. What a chance to take. Well, that's absolutely extraordinary. I saw the shuttle hit the top of the yeah, net. But you thought it wasn't coming over. I thought it wasn't coming mm. over. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's probably the best shot we'll see all week. Unbelievable. Fabulous. Attack again, buddy. And lots of pace from that tonight. Lots and lots of pace here. You know, I can't help but wonder that previous cross court net shot Nine winner, all. a shot like that that's just so phenomenal, can some sometimes just change a whole match. It can, it can get you flying. You can 
Walker near. Deliberately duck down out nine. of the way of that one, thought it was going to go long. Wrong decision. Yeah, it's way in. Good control by the Korean here. And my fears for her in the second set here, not being able to control the baseline shots, has uh, not materialized. She's really controlling it well. And she has the advantage at the mid game in the A two point advantage having taken the opening game. Sanjay Hyung. Just from watching here, I think the Thai camp is saying you, you must start to attack some more. Use the baseline, but when chances are there, attack. That's how it, it looks like the gestures anyway. Let's see. to win this encounter but she trails by a game and two points it's been wide. service over 10 11 Level. 11 all. Two fairly simple mistakes by Sung Si Hyun. Last time she played it. Service over. 12 all. A little bit of panic creeping into the Koreans' game here, I think. She's got to stay just as composed as what she was in the past. Yes, and added into the mix of that, I thought that last rally, considerably quicker movement around the court and a bigger effort to take the shuttle early from Arachanuk Intanon. Those two things combined. Service over. Another 50 points an hour. 13, so 12. to the girls 
first time they've been lifting out on that baseline. Oh, my goodness. Service over. Oh, that is accurate. 14, 13. No, this, is, this is a winner from this side, but the principle of what I was trying to explain before from the forehand side is the same. It's just the second start. It's just adding on the pressure on a very, very safe t shot. It's a neutral shot for Kim Ji-hun, Sung Ji-hun to, uh, to play. Out. 15, 13. Closer to her goal. 13. Think about this three point cushion. She has tactically played 17, well on perfectly so far 13. in this match. Sung Ji Hyung. Coming down the angles once more. Three points needed for the precious three match. Rajinok have to do something differently. She's got to go on the attack. She's got the advantage of uh, playing on the right side, the, the, the best side of the court, and she's got to go for it now. Young has been superb today. She's been superb all week. And now she's just two points away from securing Korea's place in a seventh Sudaman Cup final. That's worked so well for 20. her throughout this contest. Point, 13. Well, this is extraordinary from 13 all. Yep. Seven straight points, seven match points, seven points to be in a seventh final. Lots of sevens. <laughs> service position mm. so next time she does that I know that flick service coming this time second time of asking and Korea have beaten Thailand in the Sudaman Cup semi-final 21-17 21-14 Song Jae-hyung of Korea has taken the final point Left required by, Korea, 21, 17, 21, 14. by the former champions of course three times winners of this title Korea well it's been a magnificent performance by Thailand their first ever 
appearance in the Sudaman Cup semi-final. Well, what's an excellent performance today from Sung Jae Hyung. Two straight games. And it really was badminton of the very highest quality. 44 minutes for 21-17, 21-14. And the Korean team can celebrate and look forward to the final tomorrow. It all started with the mixed doubles and uh, Go Sung Hyung and Kim Ha Na uh, defeating Sukip Pra Prakamol and Sara Lee Thong Tongkan. Two very tight games. It was an excellent match, but in the end, the Koreans just too strong. 21-18, 21-19. Then it was men's singles and Boon Sak Pon Sana the 31 year old just showing uh, that he still possesses the touch and the guile of a champion he was superb today against uh, Lee Dong Kion and his two game victory 21-9 21-12 in 35 minutes meant that the match was leveled at one apiece so on came the men's doubles and the world number twos, Go Sung Hyung, making his second appearance of the afternoon, having played the mixed doubles with the former Olympic mi mixed doubles champion, Lee Yong Day. They were just too good for, for Jong Jit and Phu Wang Puapet. Two straight games, 12 and 11. And the women's singles for me was probably the best match of the day. Sung Ji Hyung, the 21-year-old from Seoul, up against the 18-year-old Arachanuk Intanon, the number five and six ranked players in the world. And they produced a stunning encounter, which of course, Sung Ji Hyung won in two straight games. She hasn't dropped a game all week, incidentally. So that means that Korea are through to the final for a seventh time. Who will they play tomorrow? Well, that we don't know yet. Of course, China against Denmark, the second of the semi-finals, will take place in just under three hours' time. Very much hope you'll be able to join Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark, for that. In the meantime, bye-bye.